Living in Naples, Florida, the five things I love and the five things I hate. Stick around. I'm John C., the local licensed real estate professional. Love serving everyone here in sunny Southwest Florida. And today, I'm going to tell you about the five things I hate first about Naples, Florida. And then I'll tell you the five things I love with maybe a little bonus at the end. Number one thing that I hate, humidity. You thought I was going to say weather. Well, humidity is part of the weather, but the heat doesn't really bother me. I was born and raised in Florida, and I've been here most of my life, so the heat really doesn't bother me much. And you know what? The hurricanes don't really even bother me much, but you know what does? The humidity. When it is humid, it is humid. Here's what I mean by that. Let me give you an example. If I was to go out from my office here to my car during the months basically of April through October, I would look like I had just taken a shower and then put all my clothes on over me. That's what humidity here is in Southwest Florida. It's like 110% if that's even possible for those months of the year. That's why I love it when we get past Halloween and get into the November months. That humidity typically breaks and we run around 50% humidity. It is so much nicer when that's the case. Number two thing I hate is no seams. Now, some of you folks may have never heard of a, what a no seam or even know what it is, but basically it's what the word says. It's a little bug. It's and it's hard to see them because they're so stinking tiny. They're smaller than a gnat. When they're on you, you don't know it until they bite you. They look like a little grain of sand on your arm or your foot. And typically they'll come out and attack you during the dusk hours of the evening, especially if you're at the beach watching the sunset. Now the sunsets are beautiful, but the noceums are not. They hurt and they are a bugger. Now, it doesn't bother me to have mosquitoes. It doesn't bother me to have spiders, unless they're crawling on me at night while I'm sleeping. And it doesn't even bother me to have cockroaches. But these little noceums, they seem to love to bite you during this time of the evening and sometimes even in the morning during the dawn of the day. Now, if there's a little bit of a breeze, it knocks these bugs down and keeps them off of you. So if you're going to the beach or out on a walk in the evening, right when the sun's getting ready to set, either take some of the bug spray that's available for these noceums specifically or Hope there's a strong gust of wind that will keep them off of you. Number three thing I hate about this Florida area, and that is flood zones. Flood zones can be so confusing. Now, there's flood maps. If you want to Google that and take a look at those, you can. These flood maps of the different areas looks like a four-year-old had a red marker and just started drawing all over these flood mats. That's how ridiculous it looks. Now, I'm sure there's a science to those flood zones, and there's different areas that some areas will flood, they say, every 500 years, some every 100 years, some every 50, and so on and so forth. And if you have a home here in the area, you may be required to get flood insurance on top of your regular home insurance if you're in one of those flood flood zone. So before you purchase, make sure you look at that flood zone or call, text, or email. I'm glad to let you know if you are in a flood zone and if you aren't in a specific one. If you are in a flood zone, you need to get a home insurance flood quote before you close on your property so you know what your payments are going to be every month. Number four thing I hate about Naples, Florida, and that is the nightlife. Why? Because there's not really much of a nightlife. Yeah, there's the sunset, and that's beautiful if you're down at the pier watching the sun go down. But once it exits and you do not see it anymore, and it is later in the evening or afternoon time frame, it is hard to find something to do other than go eat some frozen yogurt. There's not a lot of concerts around here. There's not a ton of plays or arts or nightlife as much as I think you would have typically in most areas that have this amount of people that live in the area. Now, there is a place that opened up a few years ago called Seed to Table. It's like a uh, Publix on steroids. Now, this place actually has some nightlife in there. They usually will have a band uh, that play live music, and it's pretty cool. Whether you want something from the oldies or whether you want something new or whether you're looking for jazz, they have different nights where they have different songs and music styles going on, and that's a cool place to go visit. Number five thing I hate, fluctuation. There is a huge exit after Easter from this area of people, and there's a huge influx 
after Thanksgiving that come down here. Now, I love it when people come down. I just wish they would stay so that I could predict how long it's going to take me to get from my house to my office every day because it can be twice the amount of time of what it would be in the summer to what it would be around January. That's how big of a difference the traffic is around here. The other thing too with this traffic and the influx in people, it seems like fewer people know how to drive well as what they used to back in the day. Is that just me? Anyways, there's a lot more traffic here in the area. I don't mind traffic. I just wish it was consistent so that I knew how long it was going to take me to get from A to B. What do I love about Naples, Florida? Well, let me tell you, I love the parks and the beaches. I merged these two things together because this is some outdoor life. Collier County has some of the most wonderful recreational parks in the world, at least the ones that I visited. The county spends a lot of money on their parks. They have boardwalk parks, they have nature parks, they have, have parks at the beaches that are really cool to do little hikes and trails on. The beaches are amazing, of course, too. Most people come down here for the white sandy beaches. I love boating on those beaches areas as well too. We love renting boats around here and getting out on the water. So we love the outdoor life. That's number one that I love about Naples, Florida. Number two thing I love about Naples, Florida, and that is the ease of travel. Now, I know I mentioned a few minutes ago about the influctuation, the fluctuation or influctuation, I don't know, the fluctuation when we have more people come down here and it can be a little more difficult or take more time to get to certain places. But I love the layout of this area. I-75 runs north and south and you have a couple main roads like Immokalee, uh, Vanderbilt, Pine Ridge, Golden Gate Boulevard. You have these roads that run east and west. So it makes it pretty easy to get around town. Even if there's a traffic incident or accident, it's usually pretty easy to go around that area because there's other alternate routes. Now, the other part of travel that I like around here is our airports. To me, we have two really fantastic airports. We have a large airport in Fort Myers. I think it's large. It's not like O'Hare or Midway in Chicago or New York, but it's a good size airport that you can get throughout the entire country and the world from this airport in Fort Myers. It's RSW, flies a lot of the major airlines. Then we have a smaller airport just north of there, about 20 minutes in Punta Gorda. Now, this is a great airport as well, too. They travel with Allegiant, which is the less expensive airlines. And that's a great option as well, too, to fly into some other small airports, primarily in the east side of the U.S. and that's a great airport as well too. If you need a other options because you're trying to save money on your flights, it's an easy trip over to Miami, about two hours from Naples to get to their airport over there. And then it's also about two hours north to get up into the Tampa, Sarasota area where there's more airports to choose from. So I like the travel options in regards to getting out and getting from A to B around here. It's very convenient. Number three thing I love about Naples, Florida, the seafood. I love the seafood around here. You can get fresh fish, shrimp, and usually lobster anytime throughout the year here in Naples. You go to these restaurants and they will have fresh group. And when I say fresh, it tastes like they just pulled it in out of the Gulf of Mexico, put it in the restaurant, cut it, and it is delicious. Special grouper sandwiches, love those. I love their Gulf shrimp. Gulf shrimp is fantastic, especially if you do it on the grill just right. And then also lobster tails. Lobster tails out of, especially if you get the ones from the Keys, those are delicious. They're wonderful. I love the seafood here in Naples, Florida. Number four, the people. I love the people here. This area has such an eclectic mix of different people. We have people from Europe that come here, people from Canada that come down and enjoy, and then we have people from all in the North area as well too, like Michigan, New York. They love to come down here, especially in those winter months, and enjoy our area. We also have people that come from the mountains, for instance, North Carolina, Tennessee, the Carolinas, Smoky Mountains, all that area to get out of the mountains and onto the sand for a little bit of time. So I love that we get that mix of people as well too. Naples is a beautiful area of people. If you ask people, are they from here? They're not typically from Naples. I think everybody here is from somewhere else in the country, except for me. I was born here. Number five, most channels don't talk about this. Well, there are some that specifically talk about this, but politics. I love the freedom that we have in Florida. I love to call it the freedom state. I wish I thought of that. I don't think I did. I think our governor, Ron DeSantis, thought about that. But I love our freedom state. We have the freedom to do what we want here. Now, no matter whether you're red or blue, doesn't matter to me. We can still be friends and I can help you buy or sell your house. That doesn't matter. But I love the option that we have here in Naples, Florida to be open for business and to run our lives as we see fit and not allow the government to run our lives. I love that. 
I have three kids. You probably know that. I love that our schools are back open and have been for quite some time. And I love that I have the choice to send my kids to school. I love that, that I have the choice as a parent, whether or not to require my kids to take certain shots in their arms. I love that we have that freedom. Bonus tip of the day. This is the bonus thing that I really love about this area. I love that this area of Florida, especially the Naples area, is focused on health. There is a huge push for people to be healthy around this area. We have fantastic hospitals, but what I'm talking about is people that get out and exercise, eat well, and do the right thing for their physical body, and I love that about this area. I get to play basketball three days out of the week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at one of my local gyms because we have a group of men that get together, and we almost always have 10 or more men that show up to run full court because people love to get out and exercise here in Naples, Florida. If you're thinking of moving to Naples or you're thinking of moving out of Naples, give me a call. Love to help you anything with your real estate needs. And if you have a few more minutes, there's going to be a video that will probably pop up here, here, somewhere. Please watch that. Get some more information on this beautiful area in Southwest Florida. I'm John C. Have a great day.